Hey, it's Mark. I had a meeting this morning at um, at 8.20. Actually, the meeting was at 8.30, but I'm always early. So as I'm driving now back, I was thinking about the 80-20 rule, the, the Pareto principle, the, the notion that in general... of the results come from 20% of the efforts or one of the many other ways you can't explain it. 20% of the employees in a company produce 80% of the profits. 20% of your referral sources produce 80% of your practices or businesses income. There are a lot of different ways of, of looking at at what that distribution, what that observation means to you and your business. You know, this uh, this rule was first, this observation is what it really is, was first noticed by uh, a guy after whom it's named, uh, Wilfredo Pareto, who was um, an economist who noticed actually in England that 20% of the population owned 80% of the wealth. And as he went back and looked at different periods of time, he discovered the same the same thing. When he looked at other countries, he discovered the same thing. Now, you know, this is an observation. It's not a hard and fast rule. In fact, if, if you recall those, um, those protests blaming the, um, the 1%, as having uh, ownership of so much of, uh, of society's assets. Uh, you'll see that in some instances a much smaller percentage than 20% owns a hugely significant portion of assets or a much smaller than 20% of, uh, say, referral sources is responsible for 90, 95% of your business's income. So there are many ways for you to uh, apply this notion in connection with your practice, with your business. And the simplest, not knowing what you, the viewer in particular, do, is to pay attention to those sorts of, of powerful distributions. How a small percentage of customers, a small percentage of referral sources, a small percentage of relationships make a huge change for you, a huge benefit for you. And then figure out what what in common that small percentage you know shares among them. How you can find more referral sources of that sort. How you can devote more time and effort to those referral sources as opposed to all referral sources in general. In other words, how you can sort of milk the notion of that disproportionately powerful small percentage that's either in your business or that impacts your business. So pay attention. Spend some time thinking how understanding and harnessing the Pareto Principle can be a value to you.